Everybody's Christian Prepared Mind 101, and you know what is one of the most underappreciated inventions of our time, and that is the pocket. You can actually, like, it's an easy way to carry things in your pants, but you don't want to just put, you know, needless weight in there. You want to put fun stuff in there. So I recently did a budget folder review, but that wasn't the only budget folder that I got. This one has been out for a while, but it just happened to catch my eye. And you know, for around 33 bucks, maybe it's something you'd be interested in. So we're gonna take a look here at the Kershaw XCOM. It's a very pointy, stabby type of thing. Popping balloons, uh, poking holes in a cardboard box, so you can carry an animal in it. I mean, things like that, right? So if you want to know more, don't go away. Assuming on the outside chance that I'm not the only channel you watch, uh, you've probably seen this before. But I don't always hold on to it. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't always, you know, jump on things as soon as they come out. You know, when I first saw them, I, I was kind of disenfranchised with, you know, the budget stuff. You know, I go through phases. But for some reason, I just kept gravitating toward this. So one day I decided, you know what? This is going to be the month I don't blow my whole wad on a Microtech. I'm going to get a couple of different uh, more affordable things from DLT, and this is one of those things. So it's kind of like a, you know, it's got a bayonet style grind, kind of folding dagger style. Really like the handle, it's kind of trench knifey handle, G10 patterned. Feels really nice in the hand. If I have to say there's one thing I don't like about this knife, it's, and it can be forgiven given that this thing's like $33. It's like I, I, I've never liked the uh, the cheap black finish on budget knives. I'd almost rather this just be stonewashed, but I guess that uh, they were kind of hoping to stick with the tactical format here. So it is a, a liner lock. Uh, big pat on my back for not saying frame lock this time. I don't know why I do that, but I just do. It did come a little stiff. I mean, this isn't like anything crazy, ball bearings or anything like that. But with a tiny amount of WD-40 and a little time working it in, it got to open rather nicely. Uh, thumb plate opener. So this is... This is everybody's favorite 8 CR13 MOV, which is a great budget steel, especially in this application with this particular grind because it is very easy to get sharp. Minor work on a ceramic rod, like a couple swipes, and this thing did quite the trick. It just took right to it. So stuff like this, it's nice when it is easy to maintain. So going through the specs here, you have an overall length of 8 inches. You have a closed length of 4.4 inches. The blade length is 3.6. We talked about the steel, 8CR13 MOV, black oxide, boo, blade finish. So glass filled nylon. I don't know if I said G10 before, but it's glass filled nylon handle material pocket clip right or left hand so it is reversible tip up carry liner lock with a weight of 4.2 ounces so for a budget carry knife a budget you know protect yourself knife that feels really nice in the hand yeah this i, I can get behind this the price tag i wasn't sure at first but i do like it now, we, 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 we do this on YouTube. It's like one minute you do nice stuff and everybody wants, you know, inexpensive stuff. Then you do inexpensive stuff. Everyone wants uh, nice stuff. But here's the funny thing. 
<laughs> I've I, I just recently noticed this. So you'll get the people like HCR blah blah blah. There's other steels out there. Like, well, can you tell me what this does wrong that you don't like? Besides, you know, nitpicking the numbers of the line items, especially for the price point. But the thing that I noticed is when, like, I could have this big crazy quarter inch thick CPM 3V woods blade designed for splitting wood. And people will say, you shouldn't baton with your knife. But yet, you'll get, you start showing folders, and then people will say, well, that's not very strong. You know, it's like, okay, so a giant slab of super steel, you're not allowed to split wood with, but a folder has to be some Herculean pry bar. I don't get it. Make up your freaking minds. I think it's just a polarity thing. It's like, whatever something is, People are going to complain and say it should be the other thing. Uh, if it's smaller, then it needs to be bigger. If it's inexpensive, it needs to be something more expensive. If it's more expensive, it needs to be cheaper. It doesn't matter what you show. Someone's going to say something. But there is a market for checking out cool budget stuff. Matter of fact, every once in a while, I get the comments of people lamenting the good old days of Prepared Mind 101 with the budget stuff. It's like, yeah, that was like seven years ago. So people change over time. <laughs> and I just do what I feel like doing now. What do you think of this? I mean, I know I've seen other videos on this, which actually helped influence my decision to want to check it out. But it is a cool little handle. And I will say this. Since, since you asked my opinion, I will give it to you. Kershaw. They don't give a shit what I say. <laughs> but what do you think of a... What would you think if this was like, say, a zero tolerance? With a different blade steel and stone washed. That would be pretty freaking awesome. I think if it was... Oh, people would be all over this. But really, the only aesthetic thing I don't like is I don't like that black oxide finish it it reminds me a lot of the company who shall not be named <laughs> it's like black oxide but hey i mean price tag I cannot complain i do like it it's one of those things like if you have to like you know poke some holes in a box and whatever and then throw it in a river then you're not gonna you're not gonna be like sad that you lost your expensive knife it's like it's well i don't know why you would need to do that but you know, poke holes in a box, but I'm just saying, it's one of those things that work well, and if you give it a chance, and actually work with it, and you're like, you know what, it's kind of fun that I can throw this on my ceramic rod for 30 seconds, and, and make this thing ridiculously sharp, so, it was a little surprise, it was something that I wouldn't normally get, but I did, and ended up liking it so maybe those of you looking for something new to play with you'll like it too that is my take on it did i get all the specs on this thing uh, yep sure did go check them out at dlt if you are so inclined so here you go folks that is the kershaw xcom a little impulse buy budget stuff sometimes it's good to you know, come back down and mess with the budget stuff, and you get reminded of why you used to like budget stuff. And this one grew on me. Good, this is like one of those ones that it's probably a good thing I didn't immediately review it out of the box because uh, I wasn't sure. It was a little stiff. But once it got broken in, big improvement. All right, guys, the so links to this are going to be in the description box below. DLT, good time to go blow all your money this time of year and to send your wife there to blow money on behalf of you because why not right so <laughs> links down below all right chris and prepare my 101 thanks for watching make sure to click the like share and subscribe i'll be back in another video here soon so see you then